So Walt basically is saying, I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. He had nothing to do with that break in. Okay, maybe you was just so high up you forgot to lock the door, but um, somebody was watching. That's the thing in Manhattan, somebody always watching. Wait, you gonna say, knock it off, bro, this ain't me. You just admitted to stealing $5,000. But you know, oh, you ain't gonna break into the show. Oh, okay. Knock it off, Walt. Oh, embezzle. Tony just said embezzle. Yeah, I know his name's Tommy, but I'm gonna keep calling him Tony. It getting real New York. I'm not trying to hear that talk. Just prove it and get out. They got him out of a shelter. They got him in and out of the hab. They really have been there for him. You know, you, well, are y'all really friends? Y'all seem like you really friends and it ain't just about the show. Okay, so I guess Crystal's a part of the new crew slash old crew. Um, but she says she's the best artist and the other guys say he's the best artist who looks like Birdman. So I'm gonna call him Birdman. If you were the best artist, somebody talking mess wouldn't kill your vibe because you would know you were the best artist. It sounds like a confidence issue to me. Oh God, he's one of those overzealous New York guys with too much personality. Honey, tone it down. I know you're on camera, but just two notches and it would be perfect. It's like, you're like Funk Flex. It's, it's a forgotten generation. It's like the eternally loud uncle. See, Donna, this is why you don't want a tattoo. Because you can't. He can. This is amazing art. Wow, that is a great job. You can't even see the scar. It looked like a butterfly just landed on her leg. The 3D is good. The detail is amazing. The coloring, perfection. And now we go to Jersey. So did y'all finally, cause I noticed that little map graphic y'all put up from New York to Jersey and now we are gonna show Puma. So y'all finally watched enough of my reviews and you were sick of me cussing you out for pretending what was in New York was? You finally got sick of my, it's about time. And there's nothing wrong with representing the fact that yeah, it's Manhattan, but also like the whole New York City metropolitan area. Jersey, Connecticut, Yonkers. I know you've had a lot of cast in Yonkers. So now Puma's telling Black Lip Kwani about Walt's woes. Oh Lord, so Crystal and that other new artist is having an affair. Oh, he's romantic. Didn't he have another name last season? And where where's the sissies? Wait, are the sissies in Chicago? I think the sissies are in Chicago. So who's going to cheat first? I think it's gonna be her. If y'all want a real relationship, you should have kept this off camera, but you're pulling it for a plot line. Crystal wants to hold off before telling everybody, and I agree. But you see, then you gonna have sleazy ass Tati trying to sit on his lap and you gonna go crazy and she ain't gonna know why. We're exclusive, just not in public. But then when somebody try to push up on you and you laughing and giggling, it's gonna be an issue. This is why relationships at Black Ink don't work out so well. Also, not enough chapstick. So we back at the shop showing Puma and this other manager the Walt Walk out the shop and they take it back to when they was kids and he stole their wishes out the wishing well. Mm. Oh, so Walt hit up the secret stash that only a few people knew about. He took the gold caps off the fake teeth. So Puma's got a soft heart and he's like, well, maybe it wasn't him. Let, let me go check on him. See how my little crackhead doing. Oh, young Bay's back. We finally got to see Bay's shop when Tony stopped by. She said, I didn't talk about it on the show cause I wanted no drama. Tony opening a music studio on 125th. Okay, there's a lot of space there. I could, I could see that as a good revitalization. Keep, mm-hmm. All right, I ain't gonna say you have musical talent, but business acumen, I'll give you. I'll give you. Open that stew. Maybe we could get Harlem rap back. Oh, I'm here for it. I don't know about you producing, but open the studio. 
So young Bay's breast implants went bad and she had to rush and get them out. Bay like, mm, I got to recover. I got a baby and I got a shop. I, I don't have, I got all the press and promomo I needed from your show. Thank you for your services. I get it. Black ink is a lot. I mean, if you're, you know, a missing tooth Donna or a paid off Alex or a no hope Walt, I see why you'd stay on the show. But I also see why Bay wants to go. I'm real glad Puma getting help, but I'm a fast forward because I don't want to get triggered. What? Okay, uh, Donna must be out here with some PPP loans because how can she afford somebody else's Brazilian butt lift when she still can't get that bottom tooth fixed? So now that the group has gathered at Black Ink, Caesar's going to tell everyone about Walt's woes. Oh, and Walt was supposed to do that $5,000 drop and he didn't do it so the cash would be on hand. Mm. So this wasn't just a crime of opportunity. This is premeditated. Child, everybody's like, this looks like dead on Walt. The day after Walt had the same clothes on, says Crystal. Bombshell. Oh, and he was short in Crystal writing down a different price and keeping the coin. Crystal was like, I didn't want to snitch on him for the skimming. And he's skimming like $400. Oh yeah, that's, that's Coke, 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 Coke. This is why they needed to legalize marijuana. Calm people down. Cause look, that Coke, 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 Coke. Have you acting a fool? I mean, <laughs> maybe it's just a touch of crack, just a touch of crack. I hope he gets help. But for like, he's like, that's skimmy, skimmy, skimmy. And you're getting paid from the, like, are they not paying him? He showed up drunk to count the money in the register and y'all ain't called C's then? Mm-hmm. Now you're coming forth with all of this in for May May. But that to me, I would have called C's and been like, uh, you got a drunk manager that's coming in to play with the money and it's not his shift. Just thought you should know. See, I wouldn't put myself in that situation where I'm coming forth with this now because I'm like, I'm looking at you, boo. Wow, no one is to talk to Walter anymore. He is kicked out of the company, out of the shop, banned. Boy, they burn through people on Black Ink. Let's see. Um, Alex, which they got drunk. Uh, I believe every word she had to say about them skeezy-ass producers. Um, and we've seen what Big Fish will pull. Duchess, but Duchess did it to herself. Um, Sky, they took advantage of her mental issues and then threw her away. And then they kept hide up drunk Walt on here until he finally just snatched some coin. Mm. And he'd been skimming, but I also think they hadn't been paying him proper. Alex must have gotten a decent settlement out of the show and out of seas personally, because I mean, Donna loves spending his money. Oh, and, and oh shit, we can't forget about him. So Puma's like, I'ma still mess with Walt, I'ma still check on him. Tati gonna say, I hope he doesn't try to pull up. He ain't no bigger than a minute and barely weighs 100 pounds. He ain't pulling up. He's too drunk, he would stumble up at best. They said, does Crystal know? <laughs> Tony said, well, she gonna know something soon cause he ain't coming here. Crystal has to know, He look, the way he looks, she has to know and she putting up with it. And she must be doing a little dab herself. What? He's been cheating on Jess. He brought a girl through Black Ink. Mm. So Walt meets with Puma outside of Closed 113. So Walt's still like, I had nothing to do with the break-in. I may have embezzled, embezzled, embezzled. I may have embezzled, but I didn't rob. Dixon. Oh, so now you were stealing the money for child support. 
Is that the story we're going to try to go with, Walter? Child support? I mean, your child support shouldn't even be $400 a month. You don't make nothing. He said he hit Caesar up, but didn't hear from him. A likely story. I'm just hearing the jittering of a cokehead. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. You could have called everybody and then you borrowing money. You could have said, I need this for child support so I don't go to jail. People would have been way more understanding. Way more understanding. No, this is coke, 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 coke. All of a sudden, Walt cares about his kids. They what, 15, 18, 30? All of a sudden, now, today, the child support must be paid on time. Boy, boom. Puma said, yeah, it looks like we we lost you. I I was really hoping you'd say something, do something, but uh this child support lie, you think I can't see through it? You're going to try to slick a can of oil with your drunk brain? <laughs> oh, Puma didn't hit him with the be safe though. You've been an essential part of the building of black ink. You barely swept the shop. You, you were not in a, you were a charity case at best. I mean, you couldn't even flunky right. It's sad Donna is further along than you. She may not have a bottom tooth, but she ain't a thief. Then again, she kind of is a thief because it's fraudulent <laughs> to pretend to be a tattoo artist when you just go and draw with crayon on somebody's arm. That's fraud. 